Hi, I'm Emma Mapfitters, and today I'm going to walk through how to download the mod MC Command Center on a Mac. I will only discuss the process of downloading, installing, and confirming that the mod works in your game. I'm not going to go into detail about all the different settings that the mod offers. So to start, I am on Deaderpool's MC Command Site website. This is the best place to download this mod, and it also gives you a chance to review all the great documentation that is listed. So I'm going to go ahead and download the mod by navigating to the MCCC Downloads. And my game is updated, so I'm going to go ahead and download the most recent version. If you want the WooHoo options in your game, you need to download MC WooHoo as well. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to keep it simple with the regular MC Command Center. Okay, so now that the mod has been downloaded, let's go ahead and open up Finder and navigate to my downloads. If you download the file to somewhere else, you can navigate to that location. So you can see here now in my downloads that the file is here and I downloaded it as a zip file. So in our mods folder, we can only have files that end in .package or .ts4 script. So we need to decompress the zip file, basically open it up. Most newer computers come with a zip extractor already built in, so this means that for zip files you do not need to download any additional programs. You can simply double click on the file and it will open up for you. For ROAR or 7-zip extensions, you'll need to use an extractor tool. These file extensions are less common, however they are used occasionally. For these files, you can download the Unarchiver, which is free in the App Store. Since this is a zip, I'm just going to go ahead and double click on the file and it will open for me. So now we can see that the file is open and let's look at what's inside. So we can see there are a bunch of TS4 scripts and a package. So now we need to go ahead and add these to our mods folder. To make it a bit easier for myself, I'm going to go ahead and open a new tab in Finder by pressing on Command T. You can see now that we have two tabs, one for our downloads and one that opened up on the desktop. Now on the sidebar, you should see a link for documents. If you don't see this, you can go here to the top left hand corner and click on Finder and then go to Preferences. And you should see this pop up here with a bunch of different apps and documents that you can open. So you just want to make sure that documents is clicked off. Now that we found our documents folder, let's go ahead and open it up. And then we're going to open this electronic arts folder. And then Sims 4. And then we're going to go into the mods. So congratulations, now we've found our mods folder. Now let's go back to the location where we downloaded the MC Command Center mod. For me, it's in my downloads. Since we've already opened the zip file, all we need to do now is just select these and drag and drop them into the mods folder. So you can see now here are all the packages that we need for the MC Command Center to work. The general rule for script mods which is any mod that has a TS4 script file included, is that they go no deeper than one folder. I'm just going to leave these files in my mods folder for now, but once I have confirmed that these work properly, I can organize them in a folder if I want to. Now since our files are in the mods folder, let's go ahead and open up our game. Before we can play, we need to tell our game that we want to use mods. Let's go into the options into the game options and then into this other tab. You should see two options here, one to enable custom content and mods and the other is script mods allowed. Since MC Command Center is a script mod, we need to go ahead and enable both of these options. In order for these changes to take effect, we need to restart our game, so let's go ahead and do that now. Once we've restarted our game, you'll see this pop-up appear that lists all the mod and CC I have in my game. 
since we see MC loading here, that means that the game is successfully reading our content. So now I'm just going to go into the actual game and confirm the mod is pulling in as expected. So there are two ways you can confirm the mod is installed properly. The first way is by clicking on the mailbox and you should see this MC Cheats option appear. The second way is by clicking on a computer and you should see the MC Command Center tab appear. Now since we've confirmed the mod is loaded in correctly, we can play. Hope you found this video helpful and happy simming.